Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be super short. We're just doing a really quick update on my Givenchy Antigona Mini that I purchased over a year ago. I bought this in October of 2018. This is actually the last bag that I added to my collection. We're just doing a really, really quick uh, updated wear and tear on this bag. So if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name's Catherine. My channel is KW Shops. I talk about the pre-loved luxury handbag market. Uh, I do handbag reviews here as well as, you know, updates on some bags that I own. Uh, I also talk about things like valuation, authentication. I actually work in the industry and have worked in the industry of reselling bags for six whole years now. And I share some of my tips and tricks and insights into the pre-loved luxury market. Uh, for all of you guys to gain a little bit more knowledge and information. So if that interests you, I'd love to have you back. Please subscribe. I do new videos weekly and let's get started with this one. This video is not going to take too, too long because I have some great news. Uh, the Givenchy Mini Antigona in this material is literally a godsend. I'm just going to show you in a cutaway what this bag looks like a year and three months post-purchase. I've carried this bag two to three times weekly throughout this whole of it being in my collection. So this bag is not a bag that gets spared in my collection by any means. A couple of things to note about it. Number one, I have it in the mini size. I carry it crossbody and I do feel it has a great interior capacity so I'm able to hold a lot of stuff inside of it. Um, so that, which is the main reason why I reach for it so often. It's great for rain. Um, because of the material it's made of. I have this in the shiny box leather and I purchased this from Fashion File where they refer to it as Lord leather and I'm not exactly clear on what that means. I bought it pre-owned from Fashion File a year and three months ago so I have no idea exactly as to when this was created. Hold on, let me see if I can see from the date code. From my very limited knowledge on Givenchy date codes, I think this bag was created in 2016. So what we're looking at is a potentially a four-year-old bag at this point. So I have had it myself personally for over a year and the only wear that I see on it at all is a little tiny scuff on the bottom. I'm gonna leave the exact link of this bag. Uh, Fashion File does keep their old archives available online and I will leave a link to the exact bag that I purchased down below in the description box for you all to check out. Um, so you compare so you can compare it to the bag that I have today. Other than this little tiny mark in the back, I'm gonna say that this is probably in the exact same condition. I could not recommend this bag enough. Um, now, if you do compare the sugar leather, sugar leather or pebbled leather, um, I have seen that sort of um, over time. It sort of will get like a, some like staining and discoloration as well as creasing and wrinkles and things like that as well and, and scratches. Um, so if you're going to go for this bag, I can't stress enough how much I would definitely recommend the shiny leather in um, this, this bag. So as you guys may know, I also have the medium size on my wish list at the moment. It's something I'm definitely considering purchasing. And I do have a medium one available at work right now. If you want to see a side-by-side -side comparison of these two bags, I'm not sure if that would be helpful. But if it would, then please let me know and I can put that together. So I'm just going to uh, run the footage once again of how amazing this bag looks being potentially four years old and for me using the absolute hell out of it for over a year. Um, if you are still interested in, if you are questioning, considering how durable the Givenchy Antigona Mini in the shiny leather is, just know it is a workhorse. Um, the only th other thing to mention is that there is one dent in the bag and I will link my both my unboxing and, yeah, there you can see it there. Both my un I will link both my unboxing and review I have of this bag. It was like this when I purchased it. So that is the only amount of wear besides that one little mark that's almost impossible to see uh, on this bag. 
This bag is still currently available in stores, but if you want to save potentially like a little bit of money, then I do recommend going pre-loved. Notes on durability and ease of wear on this bag. When I first bought this, it got caught in the rain. It got caught in the rain. We got caught in the rain. This bag absolutely, like the material of this bag absolutely, absolutely repels rain. I did a video a couple of months ago um, showing which bags are great for rain. And this I think is easily my best one. Um, not only does it have the capacity to fit an umbrella inside, uh, the water actually does bead right up and slide off of the bag with no issue at all. Um, I have footage of that that I will leave in a video link that I will link down below in the description box. And uh, the other thing I was asked was, do I have issues with the strap um, coming off when I go to wear it? And in my personal experience of a year and three months, uh, that's happened to me exactly one time early on. Um, I don't know why it happened, but it was never an issue that I had with it again. I've had a ton of success with this bag. I can't recommend it enough. And the only two issues that other people have claimed to have had with it are just the strap sliding off, and that has happened to me literally one time. So, asked and answered, um, do I recommend this bag? Hell yes, I do. And um, it's definitely one of the most carried bags in my entire collection. This, hopefully, short, sweet, to the point. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video on the Givenchy Mini Antigona. If you have any questions, please link them down below. If you have any other requests for what you want to see this year in 2020, I did conduct a poll over on my community tab, so please go check that out and answer it. If there's anything you want to see, then let me know. Um, I'll leave shoppable links down below in the description box for you guys to check out if you're interested in this beautiful bag, as well as a comparison I did with a couple of other bags that are sort of similar. I've done reviews. I've done all kinds of stuff. There's actually a video of me pouring water onto this bag linked down below. Go check that out. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's all I have for you guys today and I will see you in my next one. Bye!